Let's look at mixed strategy in normal form games. And we'll do this through an example. We have um, Kelly and Jason who are playing the normal form game that you see here. And let's first, before we start looking for mixed strategy equilibria, ask what are the pure strategy equilibria of this game? Well, to do this, let's go through these um, and just check them all the possible um, uh, combinations of strategies to see if any one of them is an equilibrium before we go any further. We have here um, the possibility that maybe up and left is an equilibrium. Well, it can't be an equilibrium because if Kelly knows Jason is playing left, she would prefer to play down and get four instead of two. So that's not an equilibrium. Let's look at down and left. Well, that's not going to be an equilibrium because if Jason knows that Kelly is going to play down, then he is going to play right and get three instead of two. So neither one of those is an equilibrium. Let's look at this bottom right pair of strategies. If Kelly knows that Jason is playing right, she's not going to play down. She's going to play up so that she gets three instead of two. So that's not an equilibrium. So we have one more thing to check, which is upright. And if Kelly is playing up and Jason is playing right, then Jason would rather switch to left and get three instead of one. So the answer to the question, um, what are the pure strategy equilib Nash equilibria to this game, is that there are none. But remember we said Nash said that there is going to be an equilibrium to every game. So in this case, the equilibrium to this game is going to be a mixed strategy equilibrium. And what we need to do is talk about how we want to find that. So um, we want to ask the question how to find the mixed strategy equilibrium. And we're going to do this one player at a time. So we're going to start with Kelly and ask how does Kelly find her mixed strategy? Well, what Kelly is going to do in her mixed strategy is going to play up with probability P and down with probability 1 minus P. Okay, so up with probability P and down with 1 minus P. To solve her problem, she wants to set P so that Jason cannot gain an advantage by his choice of strategy. So we want Jason's payoff to be the same if he plays left as it is if he plays right. Okay, that's going to be Kelly's strategy for setting her um, P that is part of her mixed strategy. So first we want to ask, well, what is Jason's expected value of playing left all the time? Okay, if he plays left, then he is going to get up with probability P and down with probability 1 minus P because remember, Kelly's playing that mixed strategy of P is 1 minus P. So Jason's expected payoff is going to be 3 times P plus 2 times 1 minus P. So let's write that down. Jason's expected value is 3 times P plus 2 times 1 minus P. Okay. And again, we got that because if you look here, we said that Kelly's going to play up with probability P and down with probability 1 minus P. Okay. Now, so Jason's expected value of playing left all the time is 3P plus 2 times 1 minus P. What's Jason's expected value of playing right all the time? Well, again, we go back to the table. He gets 1 if he pay plays right and Kelly plays up. So that's going to be 1 times P plus 3 times 1 minus P. So in order to solve for P, we're going to set these two statements equal. 3P plus 2 times 1 minus P is going to be set equal to 1p plus 3 times 1 minus p. Okay, let's do a little multiplication. 3p plus 2 minus 2p is going to equal p 
plus 3 minus 3p, three which is the same as saying that p plus 2 is going to equal minus 2p plus 3. And if we solve that out, we find out that 3p equals 1, or p equals 1 third. Okay, so that's Kelly's strategy, is to play up with probability 1 third, and then down with probability 1 minus a third, or 2 thirds. So now we're going to do exactly the same trick for Jason. We're going to assume that he plays left with probability Q and right with probability 1 minus Q. And we ask ourselves, what is Kelly's expected value of playing up all the time? Okay. Well, if she plays up all the time, she gets 2 times Q. That's our Q. This is our 1 minus Q. 2 times Q plus 3 times 1 minus Q. Next, we want to see what Kelly's expected value is of playing down all the time. So that's going to be 4 times Q plus 2 times 1 minus Q. 4 times Q plus 2 times 1 minus Q. Okay, let's set these together. Let's set these equal to each other. Setting these equal to each other, we learn that 2q plus 3 times 1 minus q is going to be equal to 4q plus 2 times 1 minus q and if you solve this out, I'll let you do the arithmetic yourself, what we find out is that Q equals one-third. So that means that the mixed strategy equilibrium is P is a third, and Q is also a third, which also means that one minus P is two-thirds, which is the probability of playing down, and 1 minus Q is also 2 thirds, which is the probability of playing right. So that's our mixed strategy equilibrium. Now it's not always going to be true that P and Q are equal. That just happened to be the way it turned out this time. Another thing to note is that some of you who have taken game theory learned a slightly different way of solving these problems, which relies on using calculus. And that is actually um, a, a probably better way of solving the problem, but for purposes of this class I didn't want to introduce any calculus into the class. So you can do it any way that you get the right answer, but um, we're going to do it this way even though it's a little bit less intuitive because it saves on math.